Yeah, hi, my name's Chris. Uh, this is two hours late. Two hours late. Two hours. I mean, that's not bad, is it? I fell asleep. Girlfriend called me about 30 times. Finally, I went, oh, what is that noise in the periphery of my sleep? You're not doing a video today. Shit, shit, shit. Hello, Ted. <laughs> yeah, like in about five minutes. I've prepared nothing. Who knows what this is going to be about? I thought um, something um, rather than nothing. So, uh, uh, sorry, people. Um, let's do this. Let me just get this cup of tea on. We'll cut the music short. We'll have a, a, a nice little chat. All right? Lovely. Sounds good. Swirl. Dun, dun, dun. What a palaver, what a palaver. Apologies, apologies, uh, actual, sincere apologies. I mean, it's all right to say you're not streaming. It's all right to say you, you, you're not, um, you, you, you're taking a day off or something. These things are all all right. I'm sorry, I've just got to do this one thing or... Um, um, I've just got to do this one thing. Uh, one bit second. Um, good Lord. Right, yes, apologies. So there you go. Here we are. Uh, and I've got nothing prepared. I've got no videos. I, don't, I, I, I might even just fall asleep. I might just sort of go here. here boom. And again, again, this is the, you know, this is the beauty of the, look, look at the colour of this screen. Good Lord, let me sort that out. Um, this is the, um, this is your adult, this is your old, old man hangover. I've missed a whole, I've missed about a two hour. That's very kind of you, Anthony. <laughs> Can't even spell it, Anthony Trano. That's very kind of you. Um, I'm feeling a little bit shitty. I feel like I've let you all down and uh, I've let myself down. I've let the school down. Uh, yes, it's the inflatable um, school joke. And uh, good, good gosh. You know, I had a load of work to do as well. Now, now I've got to do that now. So it's midnight. It's midnight. Here. I'm not complaining. I'm just telling you the 
just telling you the situation. I've now got, I've got to try and find some energy. It will probably mean having a cold shower, which weirdly works. And, and it works and it's not pleasant. So there'll be a bit of that action um, which will be required. How can we sort out this this colour? Because there's something about oh gold. There's something about that. Let's, let's, try, let's try doing that on on the automatic. There you go. That's that's acceptable. Isn't it? I think we we'll do that. The uh, brightness has stopped. Alistair Crowley has absolutely drops of fiver which is very kind very very kind um, let me get the twitch sorted out and then i'll get the grift on thank you alistair piff puff poof <laughs> who was that what was his name the great soprendo uh, who, who was he married to who was uh, he was married to a a comedian wasn't he Arius, look at that you're getting old slow down a bit Don't know if I want to have that conversation. Don't don't know about that. Uh, let me get the thing on. Hello, Rags. Rags is over there. He says the Pied Piper has showed up. <laughs> There's the phone. That'll be my girlfriend. God knows what she she's got the proper arm. I always say that and she'll be fine. But um uh, let's see. Hello, my love. Now I'm now I'm streaming. Now my video. I finally woke up. When, when you when you spoke to me, was I like uh, uh, there, there? Yeah. Okay. Well, I finally got it together, and I'm I'm doing a little video. So, thank you for waking me up. Because if you didn't, how many times you call me? Four. Good lord. All right. All right. Do you want me to call you after, or are you going to sleep? You want me to call you after? All right. I'll call you after. But if you don't answer after three rings, I'll stop. Okay. All right, love. I'll talk to you later. Bye, darling. Bye, 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 bye. <laughs> um, the Pied Piper showed up at last. He said, "Rags has been in Twitch for five minutes." Right, let me sort that out. Oh, that ain't it. That ain't it. No, go back. Ah, oh, this is an. This is a. It's a catastrophe. And I've, I've I updated. You know, sometimes your computer says your computer needs to install some updates. And now I can't turn the brightness up and down. The function key doesn't work. Anyone who knows anything about Dell computers, you know your function key, your FN. You can press it and turn volume and brightness up. Oh, it stopped working. And I'll tell you now, every time I update my computer, I don't notice anything good happen. I just notice loads of things fail. It's a nice one, computing. <laughs> 170 people, though, which is blooming lovely. Lovely to see you, to see you. Okay. What am I doing? I can't even sort out. Create a dashboard. I don't. I really don't know what's going on. This has absolutely thrown me. I mean, maybe you'll find that entertaining. Maybe, maybe, maybe my usual absolute crystal bouchet sort of razor sharp ability to deal with the trials and tribulations of the culture within which we find ourselves expiring. Um, maybe it's going to be quite amusing watching me being a sophisticated boy. Who knows? Who knows? But um, I'll certainly give it a go. Right, that's that done. Put it back to channel. There you go. There's Rag still taking the piss. Excuse the English. Pulls that. Don't need. Don't need that running. There you go. Oh, we've got five lurkers. There's five lurkers over in Twitch. So all together. 175. Yeah, Matthew, when did I go out drinking, people? We, me and the missus went out. We went out and had a couple of um, uh, freshly pressed sugar cane and gin down the little bar around the corner. Ended up having a lock in in the 110 different types of gin raffles bar, <laughs> the elephant bar at the raffles hotel. At the time, it was wonderful, but now it's just like suicide. 
Um, okay, so that's that done. Grift, 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 grift. The grift on, get the grift, grift. Get the grift on, grift, grift. Yeah, that's that's content, isn't it? Singing that. <laughs> what am I doing streaming at midnight? And, and and I'm not joking. I'm not joking. When I when I finish this stream, I'm going to have to do about three hours work that I didn't do this afternoon because I fell asleep. Three hours. Like I've got to design some things. I've got to. I've got to put some audio on some videos, marketing videos. And that, that literally means going, hi, how are you? Well, now, you know, like, I can't go, all right, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm a bit fucked. I've got to go, right, let's have a look at this. Now, what are we going to do with this one? And, you know, put marketing spiel on, a, on videos. Which is all right if you, you know, it's not like I'd uh, rather die or anything. But uh, I'll get it done. I'll, I'll, I'll fight on through. Break on through to the other side. Break on through. Ah! Right. Where are we? Where are we with the uh, entropy these days? Entropy. Where hark art thou? Hark art thou? What? Go. <laughs> Nice. I'm feeling that one. There you go. Shame we only heard it twice earlier, though, but thank you very much. Here we go. Right. All right there. You can support this channel. <laughs> ironically. <laughs> Not ironically or unlikely, I think the word is. Un in, a, in an unlikely way, you can support this channel, but you do get this, though. I mean, it is almost worth it. You can support this channel using the super chat, which is the dollar sign down there, the sexual mantis. The, the, no, this is the sexual mantis. <coughs> down there. <laughs> or, and preferably, entropy. There's the um, entropy. No, that's not the entropy link. That's the live now link. Alternatively and preferably, you can use the entropy link, which I've just put in the chat. The entropy link is also in the description. Is it? It should be, but good Lord knows what I've been writing. Well, my girlfriend rung me at uh, um, 11 o'clock on the dot because she thought I was streaming at 10. And when I didn't stream, she thought, oh, maybe it's uh, your time, three. So she thought, oh, maybe he's waiting until four. Then when four o'clock it didn't happen, she rung me and I was like, oh, God. I thought I'll just do a graphic and I'll just set it all up. That will take about 10 minutes and I can stream at about, you know, 10 past four. Yeah, five o'clock I managed to get it together. Just didn't know what I was doing. Just got, I was doing the old one eye, no eye. You know when you can't open one, both eyes but one of them's overcompensating for the old closed one? You know the old one eye, no eye. We've all done it um so uh yeah there's the entropy link you all know you all know the other stuff xenophon said you should have gotten her to do the stream i would love to be able to pass it pass the buck onto the missus but she won't do it she, she's all mouth you know she's all mouth she like before the stream's on she runs around in the background going all right there, la, 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 la. and I go, go on, go. And as soon as I press play, she doesn't want to know. To be honest with you, it's a very un thing to do all this. You know, it's very, very not of their culture. I mean, you go on go on YouTube and try and find a, a Kamai YouTuber who does this sort of thing. You know, just person talking to... Uh, you know, talking to camera. I mean, there is a couple of them, but it's not like this. Not like the sort of stuff we're used to. It's very, it's all. It's almost like the news. They're reading the news, you know. It's a very news-based thing. You won't have anyone doing just, it's very unlike them. Anyway, the bullet, <coughs> he says, I've just been watching American reactions to rugby union. Seems they've mistakenly thought American football was a hard game. 
Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? I mean, I'm not knocking American football, but they've certainly got some padding on. There's, uh, there's, the, the only padding you've got in a uh, rugby would be a your shoulder muscles. <laughs> Tusfro is um, encouraging me to be deceptive. You could do a pre-recorded one and see how long it takes anyone to notice. Oh, that um, that that appeals to me. That does Tusfro. I'm just thinking a little bit down the line. Imagine, hey, all right, everyone, welcome to Saturday afternoon stream. Meanwhile, I'm smoking cigars and drinking cognac in the Bahamas. <laughs> um, uh, imagine getting rumbled though. And there'd be there'd be very little. I wonder how easily you could do sort of generic replies to the chat. You know, you could sort of go. You can sort of go, oh, hey, you. <laughs> you know, but you 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 could mention names and that, I suppose. But you'd have to. They'd have to be really, really regular scrubs. People you know are definitely going to be there. I don't know. I think. You, you really, you should see a professional about that idea. Um, well, there you go, there you go, our pal. That's uh, that's uh, where you go. Um, was it Mrs. Me in it last night talking about drinking gin with a lager mixer? <laughs> Don't even mention it. <laughs> Zen Maverick is suggesting that Beijing Biden had a <laughs> pre-recorded inauguration. Wasn't it weird? The, 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 I'm not going to get into it because I haven't stopped talking about it, but I do love it. Oh, sorry about that, people. I am shattered. You know, you just don't get to do it at my age. You don't get to go out. And you know, I mentioned uh, visions of pharmacies. I was, I, I, I guarantee, I wasn't getting paracetamol. And in the pharmacies out here, you can get anything you want. And, and I mean that you can pretty much get anything you want. Fentanyl amps. I doubt I'd have got any of them. But just to give you an example of the the level of what you can get, fentanyl ampules. I mean, for fuck's sake. So who knows? And then, then I had the sort of, I had the illusion of getting away with it. Even done, even done the stretching stream yesterday. But today, today as oh yeah, that's right. You saw the photo. Good lord, I haven't had a look at that since I showed you it. Let's have another look at that, shall we? For the people who didn't see it, the missus took a picture of me. When I got back, because she fell off the chair at the, um, oh, is that another donation? Hang on a minute. Ed, we've been talking, haven't we, Ed? Good to see you live. Do you mean live? Live. Good to see you live. YouTube doesn't give me a notice. Also, took away my hero status. And I had to say, what? What, you had to pay again? YouTube is a asshole. Um, sorry, sorry about that, Ed, but nice one for making it back. Um, but you weren't even at the hero streams yesterday, were you? Because if you were, you'd have surely been in there chatting. Um, yeah, no, it's not, it's not, <laughs> yeah, you'd be surprised, our power, really, anything, it's crazy. Um, so the girlfriend, well, th thank you, Ed, for the donation, though, that's very kind of you. Uh, I think a lot of people aren't getting. Give me a one if you're not getting notified about these streams. Could what you're doing get you into the Guinness Book of Records? <laughs> I think they did sell a bit of Clarky Cat. It's going to make me feel like a wet weekend in a hot air balloon. The last I saw of my missy, she fell off the edge. She fell off the bench. And then I sort of threw in a threw in, into a took book and went play to say or something like that. She's going to bed. She just sent me a message going to bed. She ain't waiting for me. Let me just give her a quick call. Oh no, fuck it. She can wait till the morning. But she took a photo of me. 
She took a photo of me. It's here somewhere. Oh, my. <laughs> uh, this is when I, I strolled in at about six o'clock in the morning. Hang on, let me just see if I can get a bit of focus action. Hang on. Come on, come on, Chrissy boy. It does focus a bit better than that. <laughs> yeah, another good night. Another good night. So, um, yeah, in many ways, um, glad to be alive. And in many ways, not so glad to be alive. Uh, good, well remembered, Johnny. We've got 210, 210. Illuminata says, at our age, the best you can do is stay drunk. No, 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 no. I'm after some Jessup, Jessup. That's what I'm after. I'm after some Jessup, Jessup, Jessup. Um, yeah, you can get Adderall, Xanax, Diazepam, Morphine, you, you name it, fentanyl, good Lord. And there's no prescription service over here because the country's so broke. Like, you know, no one's going to go to the, if you, you know, if you don't know what, if you don't know what medication you need, you go to the doctor once and he says, what are we going to, I'm going to tell you that you want to get yourself some of this and some of that and take it twice daily. But you're not going to go back to the fucking dent, the, the, the doctor and get another prescription. When you don't need one, you just go back to the chemist and go. Oh, he said something about um, nitrazepam. And so he said, he said, he said, he said, get myself a nice supply of mogadons for the summer festival season or something. <laughs> so you know, there you go. Uh... No, I really, I really overdone it, man. I really overdone it. I mean, it was a lie. It was a lie. You can ask me, my friend, Meganesia Shan. I live in Cambodia. I'm in Phnom Penh. Nice to have you here. Obviously, new in these parts. I stream twice daily. Usually, usually eight o'clock in the morning UK time, and uh, three o'clock in the evening. Usually. <laughs> not five o'clock in the evening like today but uh you know it's a bit of a it's a bit of a one Nora says react to a BBC video on the far right in the UK it'll be fun to laugh at now Nora you know the rules with uh me not tending to do that you're gonna to have to give me tell me what to search for i'll have a little look at it but sometimes these things can um can absolutely fall flat on their face but tell me what to search for um yeah megan easier an absolute pleasure to have you here don't have to agree with any of us but be respectful join in we're a nice community stream twice a day good people You'll, you know, lovely. This morning's stream was taken down by the BBC, yeah. But I'm, I'm, I'm editing it out, so it should be available soon. Is it? You know, they, they offer you this thing. Oh, you can trim out the offending article. And so you go, yeah, all right. And then five months later, um, why won't it switch account? Should be on that one. Ah, what are you doing to me? That ain't my account. Uh, uh, <laughs> right, here we go. Um, Tuesday, true. It was fake quote, wasn't it? Let's see if it's playing. Let's see if it's working. Let's see if you can see it at the moment. Um, that's fell asleep. Yeah, I think it's up. I think it's up and running again. So you can watch this morning's stream. I think it was the fake woke stuff they didn't like, but it would appear that it's public now. There's a copyright claim. 
<laughs> what a surprise. But no, I think that's all good. It's all good. It's all nice. It's all nice. No problems. No problems. Well, here we are. Hello, Andy. You're from the Happy Valley, are you? Greetings from one dark former dark forward into another. Andy Barrett. What kind of age are you, Andy? Roughly my age, up in your late 40s. Get out there. Get out there. <laughs> okay, I'll give it a go, ABC Gold. Good call. Now, I might have a little video um, to watch. Uh, but, okay, so what else did I watch? What else did we watch on it? We watched... Um, we watched... Um, oh, good Lord. We watched Fake Woke. What else, What did we watch from the BBC? The B Nice one, Michael. It was the BBC bit that was edit out. Okay, that's interesting. And there you go. Good call. Nice one, Peter Pumpkinhead. It was, wasn't it? Look at that. I got away with blooming fake woke. But when it comes to some mothers do have them, oh, you can't show you can't show 12 seconds of of a BBC clip from 1976. <laughs> they, they must be making a fortune out of those old videos. Good Lord. Absolutely ludicrous. Now, I think I might have a little video. Let me just see. I watched something that was uh, quite peculiar. I've been watching a lot of chiropractor videos. I do love them. <laughs> uh, but that isn't what I wanted to show you, I don't think. No, maybe I'm dreaming. Maybe I'm dreaming. Oh, what's that song? Oh, shucks. Maybe I'm dreaming. Is that her name, Peter? Is that? Let's have a look. Let's see. Let's, uh, let's see how well she scrubs up. Because we didn't really get to see her, did we? Because the footage was uh, so shocking. Oh, God. Time has, time has done its terrible thing on her. But we will have a look at a picture of her in her prime. Oh, my God. What a, Sorry, people. I'm now just flesh jamming on my own. They, they tend to be pictures of her, like, at, at this time of life but back in the day oh betty do you remember that give me a one. Oh yeah yeah gonstead is the best me and a mate me and a me and a mate we're trying to save up right for people who don't know about chiropractic some of them are just absolute liars i used to go and see one he was a liar he used to just crack me head, crack my feet and go, there you go, that's your migraine sorted. On the walk home, I'd get a migraine. But the Gonstead ones, there's Dr. Ian of Gonstead, he's a legend. He's he, The man changes lives. Now, me and a mate have got a, uh, a mutual friend who's having real problems with his spine. They're talking about fusing his spine together. He's walking all fucked. He's only like 30. So me and a mate are saving up to send him to Australia so that he can see Dr. Ian. Maybe I'll do a 20-hour charity stream and see if we can raise some money to send, send young, I won't name him, my young friend over to uh, Australia. Well, there she is, people. The lovely, um, but you're right, Zen. It, Dr. Ian from the Gonstead Chiropractic. Yeah, some of it is, some of it is, but Gonstead ain't. He, he, he's proven it. No, listen, honestly, honestly, I think that as well. But you have a look at Dr. Ian from Gonstead. The geezer goes out to third world countries and does it for free. He's like an absolute absolute hero 
Um, here we go, people. Here is uh, young Betty in her glory days. Look at her there. Look, what a, what an absolute beauty. Good Lord. Good Lord. And then here's someone on deviant art who's giving me nightmares. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> it looks more like the pie man. <laughs> there you go, young Betty. Anyway, we can't, I, 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 although I'm tired, we can't just look at pictures of ladies. <laughs> Matthew says, the NHS never ever advised me to a chiropractor, and when I did, whoa, check Betty. <laughs> oh, I tell you what, yeah, deviant art is disgusting. It's just loads of degenerates. It's just degenerates drawing horrible things that they want to put their penises near. They don't even want to put their penises in them. They just want to stroke them on them. They can't actually do anything. Be actually human, like have sex. They, you know. They describe a fetish. A fetish is something that becomes more important than the sexual act. Like if you're really into PVC or something, you, you've got more chance of coming, uh, wanking over a bit of PVC than you have having intercourse with a woman without it. It's absolutely, it's a, it's a, real, a real problem fetishism, the sexual fetishism anyway. There you go. Nah, just I'm just uh, I'm just looking at loads of uh, crack addicts. They call them, don't they? The old chiropractics. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have done the stream. Um, are we doing all right? I mean, we've got 210 people in here. We've got a low. We've got seven over on Twitch. I just, I'm just feeling, I, I do feel bad, people. Massive apologies. Really massive apologies. Jack, hello, mate. Been a while. Hello, Dangerfield. There is a YouTuber called Mark's Remarks. I want you to look at him. He's a nationalist. Love you to subscribe to him. Type into YouTube, Mark's Remarks, Old Boggy. Well, again, I, I mean, I am lacking um, stuff at the moment, so I might as well. But I, I tend to avoid uh, people, people telling me what to look at because uh, it's fallen flat many times. Oh, give it a <laughs> I can't put that on the screen, Jack. <laughs> um, I can't put that. Um, uh, no, I can't. I can't. I can't put that on the screen. Yeah, that. Well, thank you, Mark. Thank you, Jack. <laughs> Hello, Howard. Um, hey, I have an onion said, if you ran to a steak knife and throw it out the window, it will give you health benefits for the spilled beans. Yeah, it's nice. You've got the English version of that. Have you got the English version of that? He has a cooking channel. No, I'm sure he has, but he's also got um, 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 a, a certain kind of face paint, which uh, is going to get 
niin eli seuraava. I'll tell you what, let's have a look at let's have a look at Sarah's latest video, shall we? I know I know my stream shouldn't really be um shouldn't really be someone else's footage, but we should have a look at it. It's only a few minutes. We'll have a look at about two minutes of it and then I'll give you the link. So here we go. The lovely daughter of Albion has been busy again. Bless her. Had a lovely chat with her the other night. I'm trying to set her up on a... No, the Dangerfield hat will be coming back. It's just with the hangover, with the headaches, I'm just... Uh... The, the sound is gash. Check out what microphone you're on. Good call. Good call. Audio. There you go. You... Um... You've absolutely sussed it. It should be. Now tell me what the audio's like now. Has that improved? Is the audio improved? No end. Thank you, Packer. That's very, very kind of you. Love you in the Scrubs company. Miss you when you're not on. Oh, that makes me feel so much better about smashing this last minute nonsense together we got a bit of better we got a bit of better audio have we because you got a bit of, you got to put a bit a bit of butter on your knife thank you good call good call whoever said that that's lovely that's very nice and thank you packer for that donation appreciated i just done that myself that wasn't a donation to come for i just like the sound of it it was a packer really Right, let's have a little look at a bit of, um, um, it's too loud now, good lord, we'll turn your audio down. Let's have a look at Daughter of Albion's latest video, Just Some Gummy Bears, which sounds like it might have been inspired by a Catboy Kami video, but who knows? Oh, Flammer Diddler, that's very kind of you. We're chilled, Chris. You're not a performing seal. That's very kind. But I, I am pissed with myself because I've screwed up a lot of work I had to do. I didn't get the video done. And three days after a drink, it, um, it isn't great. Um, right, here we go. Here we go. Let's have a look. Let's just make sure I got that audio. This is Daughter of Albion, just some gummy. L'immigration est devenue invasion, l'invasion, submersion migratoire. La France et l'Europe sont 100 fois plus colonisées et plus gravement qu'elles n'ont jamais colonisé elles-mêmes. La colonisation irréversible, c'est la colonisation démographique par transfert de population. Certains disent qu'il n'y a pas colonisation parce qu'il n'y a pas conquête militaire. Ils se trompent. L'armée de la conquête. Ce sont les délinquants, petits et grands, tous ceux qui rendent la vie impossible aux Français, en leur nuisant de toutes les façons imaginables, des trop fameuses incivilités jusqu'au terrorisme qui n'en est que le prolongement. Tous les auteurs d'attentats ont fait leurs premières armes dans la délinquance de droit commun. Il n'y a d'ailleurs pas de terroristes. Il y a un occupant qui, de temps en temps, exécute quelques otages, nous comme l'ont toujours fait tous les occupants. J'appelle occupants tous ceux qui se déclarent tels ou s'affichent tels par leur comportement. Le changement de peuple, la substitution ethnique, le grand remplacement sont l'événement le plus important de l'histoire de notre pays depuis qu'il existe, puisqu'avec un autre peuple, l'histoire, si elle continue, 
ne sera plus celle de la France. La France a toujours un merveille assimilé des individus qui désiraient l'être. Elle ne peut pas assimiler des peuples, et encore moins des peuples hostiles, vindicatifs, voire haineux et conquérants. Il faut une vanité sans nom, une méconnaissance totale de ce que c'est qu'un peuple, pour imaginer qu'avec une population changée, la France serait encore la France. Tous les mots sont menteurs, mais le plus menteur de tous, c'est celui de français, hélas. Il n'y a pas de djihadiste. Hang on a minute, I wasn't even shiny, that was I, that, that, that was just nothing, <laughs> I'm so sorry, we watched a bit of it though didn't we? we, we saw a fair amount of it, the reason I stopped it was because Sarah's going to get that video taken down, that video gets taken down, you can't, you're not allowed to say that sort of stuff and I don't want to get this video taken down, uh, fantastic though. I'll put the link in the description um, and I would suggest to you as soon as this stream is finished to uh, go and watch it because that ain't going to get along. Who's the, um, who, yeah, and, and, and in, the, uh, in, the, uh, in the description she's put trying to sneak this one back onto YouTube. I'm trying to think of the, the uh, writer's name. Anyone know his name? Someone will know his name. Good Lord. But yeah, that's um, that. That's all. That's it. There you go. Yeah, it's Renault Camo, Renard Camo. That is, and it got taken down before. She's she's making a real, she's taking a real risk there because she already got that taken down once. That's it. There you go. That's exactly who it is. Good call. Thank you. Well worth reading his stuff as well. That's quite a rare um, interview with him. So yeah, sorry I took that down. Yeah. No, no, Peter Pumpkinhead, you are allowed to tell the truth. You are allowed to tell the truth. It's your it's it's how you approach it. You can say all of those things, but you've got to say it like it's a good thing. But if you say all those things like it's a bad thing, no, no, no. You're you're allowed to talk about how many immigrants are coming to Europe. You're allowed to. You're allowed, you're allowed to name the numbers. You're allowed to name how they get in here. You're allowed to name what they're doing to our schools and universities. But if you say it, if you if you say it as if it's a bad thing, then you're in trouble. So uh, it, it's quite the thing. But yes, yeah, in, in her comment, she said, "I'm trying to sneak this one back onto YouTube." Someone will grass her up. People are people keep an eye on the likes of us lot. That's why I don't do it anymore. That's why this has become a proactive channel, not a reactive channel. So there you go. That's just the way it's going to be. Um, I'll give you the link, though. If you haven't already seen it, it's definitely worth a watch. Link is in the uh, chat. Um, on the same page, very generously, drops 15 Australian dollars. Thank you, my friend. Oh, my God. You say you fell asleep. I only stayed awake so that I could fall asleep watching your show. <laughs> Boom. Only joking. By the way, do you remember the show, The Adventures of Arg? I do not remember The Adventures of Arg. I do apologise. Anyone else remember The Adventures of Arg? Let's see if we can get a bit of that up. I remember the, uh, I'll tell you one I remember the other day that I watched a couple of episodes of, The Knights of God. Anyone remember The Knights of God? It had Blake out of Blake 7 in it. It was quite the thing. I think it was called The Knights of God. Something like that. If anyone, anyone can, uh, Adventures of Arg. No, there's absolutely nothing 
there's no such nothing on YouTube about the adventures of Arg. Oh, the adventures of Arg Tinag. Looks like some computer um, thing, but no, that that I missed that one. Thank you on the same page. That's very kind of you. Very kind of you, actually. Um, what's going on here? Was it called Knights of God? It wasn't the Knights of Nig. No, <laughs> I can't believe you got. I got to say that. On the same page has dropped another one. DOA, she think she she thinks to have a thing for France. Ask her what she thinks of Jean Michel Jarre. I think his music is historical poetry, if you please. I can't stand Jean Michel Jarre. His brother, um, Mr. Jar, <laughs> apparently his brother is the better musician, but just didn't make it, didn't, didn't go to the Docklands and play a laser piano. <laughs> But thank you on the same page. You have now got me um, above minimum wage. So much appreciated. Silence is leaden has even given me an entropy. Good Lord, this has turned around, hasn't it? This has been a turnaround. What the hell's going on here then, Governor? All sorts of bullshit happening. What's leaden got to say? I like leaden. Leden, lovely. Leden was a lovely chap. Came into the uh, thank you on the same page for those two donations. Really appreciate it. Leden came into the uh, um, the explorers or the hero streams yesterday. I can't remember which it was. All very nice, very humble person. You, you come across as quite a humble person, Leden. And that's a compliment, because if you're not humble, you will be humiliated. That's life, in a nutshell. If you're not humble, you'll be humiliated. Yes, LC350, uh, 350, exactly that. If you're not humble, you will be humiliated. And silence has said this, leaden, leaden, silence is leaden, leaden, leaden. Silence is leaden, leaden, silence is leaden. He drops a five and he said, Hi, Dangerfield. I've finally sorted out the issues with free trade. Any suggestions for the first share or six? I emailed you, but I thought I'd donate as well. I haven't looked at any of my emails for about three days because of the old hangover. Um, and when I do go through them, they're going to be very um, brief replies. I can't, I can't advise you what to buy. You know, they've they've absolutely skanked us with the GameStop and the AMC. They've 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 fucked us with that. That that two days where no one could buy them, the price went down. The hedge funds bought them all out. They got out while they could. And every if, if Robin Hood and a few others. Hadn't have done that, GameStop, AMC, and Nokia would have gone through the roof and we'd have all been minted. That two days gave the hedge funds just enough time to buy back what they needed to give back their borrowers, still at a loss, but then this way round, we lose too. But, but that doesn't mean you can't still do well on the stock exchange. It just means that little blag has been slapped in the face. Is it still worth holding, according to everyone I've been reading? Yes. But I can't advise you, mate. Do a bit of research. Look at the history of things. Look at what's, look at what, where we're going in the future with things. And just spread your, spread your bets a bit, you know. I think, I think, you know, tech's worth looking at, looking at. Green energy's worth looking at. But I'm I'm pissed by all that because you know I got GameStop and I got I got AMC, and if it weren't for that couple of days, I would have probably 
quadrupled or tripled my money. And it weren't a lot, a hundred pounds, but nonetheless, they stitched us all up. Well, I think so, actually. I think I'm going to. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. I bought some. I bought AMC on free trade. Let me have a look, see if you can now. Let's have a look. Oh, look, they're saying our, our US execution partner has restricted buyers on GameStop, AMC and Nokia. We are sorry for the inconvenience. Oh, they've done it again. But this is good news. And it says, to be clear, this is not a decision free trade made. As a result of the extremely high margin requirements, our US execution partner has taken the difficult decision not to support these stocks at this time. Now, however, this is interesting. This is very interesting because if they are not letting people buy these, fucking hoddle, fucking hoddle, because that means they're, they're manipulating it. And if you've got them, they're going to want yours. Hold. Hold on. Good, good, good. That's a spirit, Claire. Yeah, I would hold on to them if I were you. Good Lord, another couple of super chats. I might have to sleep in a bit. You know what? I've had the worst few weeks donations ever, right? Now, hang on, hang on. This isn't a complaint. I know it's been Christmas. I know it's tier four. I know people have been laid off. I get it, and it's all cool, and I still love the streams and all that. But then I sleep in for two hours. I can barely understand what I'm saying myself, and I'm getting the most donations I've had in a long while. <laughs> hmm. Maybe tomorrow I'll just uh, I'll come on pissed. <laughs> Let me tell you this one. And then you heard it before, five minutes ago. Well, here you are again. <laughs> Thank you, Led. And no, that's very kind of you. Very kind. Right, hang on. A couple more to deal with here. Yes, 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 yes. And I think she likes to party. <laughs> yeah, she certainly does. Nice one. Thank you, yes. Jean-Michel Jarring, yeah, no fan. Um, yeah, it's rubbish. It's like Tangerine Dream Light, which is bad enough considering Tangerine Dream is Steve Reich Light. I mean, you know, how many how many levels of dilution can culture go? Yeah, that's the boy, Maurice Shard. Makes great music. A lot of film, does a lot of film music. Right, hang on. I think, I thought I saw something come through from Teddy Boy. Let's have a look. Moslab? Moza? Moza. Or as I like to call, call him, Yoga Guru. He says this, just a small thanks for a new hobby. Joined my wife this morning for an online yoga session, which led to another session. <laughs> I can't work it. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> the hardest man I know. The, 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 most, the, the most relentless refusal to do anything that doesn't involve guns, jeeps, <laughs> and the American way. Thoroughly enjoyed the stretching session. Said he felt great afterwards. Got busy this morning with the missus and then got... Busy, busy with the missus. Bless you, Mosaic Labrador. I might have to start calling you Prosaic Labrador. <laughs> Thanks, mate. That's very kind of you. There you go. There you go, Rusky. Diamond glands. Diamond glands. There's Teddy Boy. Watched Apocalypse Now again last night, as I've not seen it in many years. Absolute work of art. Ted, as you know, as most people here know, I try not to have favourites because favourites mean you're not growing, you're not experiencing new things, you're not changing. If you have a favourite, 
how can you not how can how can you be growing and changing if something's your favorite however apocalypse now is it's a masterpiece it is it is my favorite movie not the redux you can take the redux and you can stick it right up francis ford coppola's strasse but the original movie apocalypse now is you know the cinematography the 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 scripting the scripting was from that book dispatches wasn't it what is it we've been we've been here before is it michael her or Michael Kerr, or Christopher Kerr, or Christopher Her. It's a combination of all of those somewhere, and and just it's just something else. And then Ted, have you seen Hearts of Darkness? It's the um, it's the movie that Francis Ford Coppola's wife made about the making of Apocalypse Now. And if you're a fan of Apocalypse Now, Hearts of Darkness, which you can get on Pirate Bay. I mean, you can buy somewhere else online it's really worth it's a great movie if you want to see a making of a movie you know when you find out stuff like those helicopters when they do that ba -ba 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 when they go in to bomb that little vietnamese village those helicopters were borrowed from the filipino army and they were just about to do the shot and the filipino army come back and we went now nah, we need our helicopters we've got to go and do some bombing you can have them back afterwards and just endless, in, incredible stories like that. Martin Sheen. Is it Martin or Charlie? Martin, isn't it? Martin Sheen had, a, had an art attack. And, uh, and there was rumours on set that he died. And someone rung up Francis Ford Coppola and said, it's, it's uh, Martin. Martin, he's had an art attack. He's dead. And Francis Ford Coppola said, Martin Sheen's dead when I say he's fucking dead. And his brother, who looks a lot like him, played half of the, was in about half of the scenes pretending to play his brother because they looked very alike. And, you know, he was too alcoholic and full of cigarettes to be able to do it. It's a great movie, Hearts of Darkness, Ted. So if you haven't seen it, and while we're on it, Ted, I still haven't forgotten about your email. I just want to give it, the time it deserves. I don't want to do a free line. You'll be all right, mate. Just, yeah. So don't worry. I, I haven't looked at my emails for a few days. I'll be probably doing it after this video, after I've got my work done, and it'll be about 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, but thank you, Ted. Much appreciated, mate. And, yeah, what a movie. Hey, who's in charge here? And that geezer with that thing goes, I thought it was you. <laughs> awesome movie. Absolutely awesome movie. Oh, that's interesting. So, so the voiceover isn't actually Martin Sheen. Well, I imagine he done some of it. But that, that is very interesting. It's such a good movie, such a good movie. I love it. I saw it when it first came out. I was about 12 years old. And, you know, as I've got older and as I've got older, I've, I've slowly, you know, every time I watch it, I learn something more about the story that's been told. The same page. Almost single-handedly keeping this stream up. Were you on the rave scene? Groove Rider, Fabio, Carl Cox, LTJ, Bookham? No. I hated it. I hated it with such a vengeance. I had to go to them because I was selling Jack and Jill's, but I hated it. Now, that doesn't mean that it wasn't good or it wasn't interesting. But um, it wasn't for me. For me, it was just business. I, I, I couldn't stand it. But that's all right, you know. A lot of people obviously did enjoy it. So there you go. But it weren't my thing. Good Lord, no. Just, just. <laughs> but, you know, it's only, it's only subjective. It's just pop music, isn't it? You know, what do you expect? Chrissy got, got the vape today. There goes. 
Here goes no tobacco. Just do it. But make sure you throw the backy out. Make sure you get get a vape that works for you. You're not one of these 20 watt jobs where you're sucking on it thinking this ain't giving me anything. You want to get one where you can, when, when need be, you can whack it up to about 60, 70 watts and go... Lovely. <laughs> Get those surfboards out. There's all bombs going off in the water behind him. He goes, but sir, but sir, it's looking a little bit choppy out there. Charlie, don't surf. <laughs> if anyone in this chat has not seen Apocalypse Now, get yourself three hours, get yourself some popcorn, get yourself a couple of litres of water, you're in for an absolute treat. It's, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing, the insanity of war. Oh, they certainly did. It was all over the place, wasn't it? There you go, Jared. Same as that. And I'll tell you what, what will happen is I'll have a couple of drinks when I'm out and I'll think, oh, I could well fancy a cigarette, you know, the heat and the, the hit. And I'll go, yeah, let's have one of them. And I light it and I think, oh, this will be nice. I can have an excuse. I am drinking two tokes i'm like fucking hell man what the fuck is in that shit and that's it gone uh thank you led and anyway they they've really pulled they've really pulled tricks with all this I th I think it's been amazing this whole free trade. Free listen to me. Can I just say I've got no shares in free trade. I've got nothing. The only reason I'd done it was cuz Sam told me about it and it was amazing that just a week after the free trade um thing with Sam that all this happened. Robin Hood, the people at Robin Hood made a conscious decision to fuck it up for everyone. Free trade didn't. Free trade didn't make that decision. Free trades FX people did. Uh, and that's foreign exchange because they're they're in with the edge funds. And free trade said to them, What? You don't don't do that. Don't be assholes. Don't be asshole. But um, so free trade is not guilty in this situation in the same way Robin Hood is. Free trade has kept its integrity. So, you know, I think that's important. And don't take my word for it. Go and look it up. Go and check out about it. Go and look into it. <laughs> yeah, that is the thing about vaping. You are kind of stuck to it. But like Linda Lovelace at a sausage party. <laughs> Ethereum and Bitcoin soaring. What's Bitcoin on? Let's have a look. Oh, are you sure? Looks like it's taken an absolute dive since I last saw it. 33, 360. It was 36 yesterday. Well, that's not soaring in my book. But there you go. Still not bad. No, it's not. It's 33, 360. It's, no, it's, it's just it 35. You're right, Rusty. It's just it. Oh, no, 34, 9.50 now. But there you go. Bitcoin long term. Keep Hoddle Bitcoin for four or five years. <laughs> Diamond feet. <laughs> Who's that? Glenn Hoddle. <laughs> Twenty sixty six alarm. Am I the only one who wants actual real world things rather than weird meme speculations? Oh, hark at him! Oh, what, what do you mean? What do you mean? 
Explain yourself. See you later, IP Freely. Take care, my friend. Oh, am I the only one who wants actual real world things? <laughs> I don't know if anyone said anything to suggest they don't want real world things. We frequently talk on air about real world things. This, this whole channel is about community and friendship. Weird meme speculations. <laughs> You're coming. A, yeah, it's a bit like that. Hark at you. <laughs> yeah. Came along, didn't it? And there you go. <laughs> so, <laughs> says a man whose name is 2066 Alarm. <laughs> Come on, mate. Explain yourself. Wriggle out of this one, you wriggler. <laughs> I tell you what, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. You got out of that all right. What I mean is I don't have a clue what's going on. <laughs> that was the one thing you could say that would get you out of it. Leon, I can't super chat. The card on this account run out and I'm too drunk to trust myself to put the new one in. Add a tooth out and I'm grumpy. You're all right, Leon. You donate to this channel frequently. Chill out, man. Don't, if you're drunk, don't, don't, you know, don't try and do that. You might screw it up. Get someone else to do it for you. <laughs> you're all right, Leon. On the same page, you're being very generous. I'm trying to buy two kilos of silver from Perth Mint, but like your entropy, it won't work. My entropy works all right. Silence is leaden. Dropped a Lady Godiva into it. Why won't it work? Well, I bet you don't pay VAT on silver in Australia either, do you? Silver's flying. Silver is growing. <laughs> Raymond, five grand on the way. <laughs> See you later, Paul. Take care, mate. Oh, that cup of tea went down lovely. I really have a cup of tea this late at night. Hello, Jess. Really have a cup of tea this late at night, but it, it gave me the energy required to offer a little something in this stream. Just seeing if I can find that thing that I wanted to show you, but Lord knows where it's gone. Where the hell is it? Once a year, regular girls turn into the four. I don't know what that was. Was it certainly wasn't what it was meant to be. Hello, Horus. Scrubs might want to watch Ari Trucks chat with David Vance from earlier. Nah, come on and shoo another show. <laughs> is it good? Is it worth a watch, Horus? I like Harry a lot. Got a lot of time for young Harry. I'm trying to get him into becoming a cobbler. Whoa, hang on a minute. What the hell's going on there? Chrissy drops three quid into entropy and says, just check in. Well, it would appear it's working. Oh, good Lord. Good Lord. Well, silver's gone down from 9.46 a kilo to 8.60 in the last two days. Ouch. I mean, but nonetheless, spread that over a month. And it's still, it's now gone down basically to the price it was in January. 
Have a, yeah, I'll, let, I'll show you the silver. Well, let's have a look at the silver. What's going on with the silver? Um, here we go. So can you see that? So silver is now here, which is $847 a kilo. This is a month here. So all that, all those gains from the 28th of Jan have just taken an absolute plop. Let's have a look at the five year. And this is the problem with silver, really. It just kind of just drags along. And then you get this spike, but that will dump over the next few months. Let's have a see what gold's up to. Gold, lovely. Look at that. Look at that. If you bought gold, look at that. If you bought gold around the middle of January, 42 grand a kilo. And that's now going to cost you 59 grand. Look at that. Good Lord. In about a year, you've made 20 grand on a key. Still means buying a key, though. So it's uh, quite the investment. Where is this thing I wanted to watch? Uh, Whack. I've got something I want to show you, actually. Let me see if I can find it. I wonder if, yeah, I've got something that I can show you here. Might be quite interesting for you. Let me just see if it's, uh, yeah, this might be worth a little pop, actually. No, it looks a little bit like the geezer went to one market. But the, the markets are quite interesting. In Horus dropped three quid into entropy, said have a burp on him. Thank you, Horus. Yeah, look, I'm going to show you a little bit of footage of Cambodia, okay? People often ask me to make videos um, um, about Cambodia, and it's very hard because <laughs> because unlike the um, unlike the Thais, they're not so happy about a bit of filming. But let's have a look at this little bit of footage of some geezer in a Cambodian market. This market's just down the road from me. And I must say, the Cambodian markets are quite something. You've got these big slabs of meat. You've got these big sort of half a cow hanging out in the street in the 34-degree heat covered in flies. And you know full well when you eat your, your, your beef soup later that day, that's, that's come off of that. <laughs> Let's have a look. We'll only have a look at a couple of minutes, so but just get an idea of my manner. Yeah, enough of your chat, mate. Can we actually see some stuff, please? <laughs> Come on. Right, here we go. He's going to have a little look around. And you will, you will see some things you don't want to see. Like the buffering, of course. Oh, come on, mate. Not on the hangover stream. Motherfucker. Come on. Oh, so that was that then. That was uh, the Cambodian. <laughs> that was the Cambodian market. We'll give it one more go. Obviously, it started working uh, the minute I left it. <laughs> Thank you. 
He asked, so check out that woman behind him chopping meat out in that 34 degree heat. I'm not being funny, but of all the amazing places in Cambodia, this geezer has made the most dull video I have ever seen. Yeah, we'll get onto some of if we can get onto some of the meat and seafood, you might be a little bit more disgusted. Hang on, let's give it a go. He's not Cambodian, by the way. That geezer's Indian. That's not how Cambodians talk. I can't believe he's made um, my country of habitat the most boring video I've ever seen, but it was just getting to the meat here and it looked quite interesting. Ah, oh, come on. Please excuse the ham over stream. Ham over, do you know what I mean? Well, I'll tell you what, I'll leave that running. <laughs> <laughs> it's not waitrose, is it? <laughs> Um, it's a real shame that he took you to that market because some of the markets, they're football size, football stadium size markets, and you will get lost in them. I have been, I have spent hours trying to get out of those markets. Some of the walkways are about that wide, seriously, and I'm too tall for them, so I'm crouching down. And if two people come both ways, you're fucked. One of you has to go back, and there's this weird little standoff. Until I sort of go, yeah, you want some? You best move, mate. And they do. But uh, honestly, some of those markets will blow your mind. You'll see all that meat hanging up there, that refrigeration, what? <laughs> what? Nah, that meat, those markets, they set up at four in the morning and all that meat is hanging up and it's covered in flies all day long. And... Uh, and, the, and, you know, people are buying it. That goes to restaurants. And then later on, you're sitting in your uh, your little cafe 
and you're having your little beef stew for two dollars, you think, yeah, this is good, isn't it? And you try not to remember where it came from. <laughs> um, I missed a super chat from on the same page. On a question note, where do use mobs get your tea? Where does use mobs get your tea? What, me or people here? I imagine most of the people here get their stuff from uh, Laura Taylor. 2066 Alarm says, that market looks way cleaner than I remember. It stinks and is not for a sensitive Western stomach. Yeah, that central market, that central market, which is more for tourists. You get down to Russian market or up to Kandal market, yeah, they're the ones you're talking about. There's lumps of the when they when they cut all the meat open, all the stuff that they don't use just gets thrown on the floor. You skid on it, and it's out in the 34 degree heat all day. And by about two o'clock in the afternoon, yeah, you can't stomach it. Either you ain't you just can't stomach it. <laughs> it's quite it's quite something. Hello, Bunny Shonis. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Um, that was a bit of a um, bit of a letdown of a video, really, because there's a far, far more interest in uh, markets than that. The ones that um, um, Alarm Twenty Sixty Six was talking about, you know, they've got some absolutely incredible markets, and you know, there's more to them than just the markets. All the people that are working there. They're all, uh, you know, they're all playing cards and that. They're all gambling with each other and they're not too interested in serving you. It's quite weird. <laughs> but there doesn't seem to be so much, um, so much of it. Maybe, maybe, you know, the likes of us, we want to see the, the, the absolute grime of the markets. But uh, these people obviously wanted to show the, all the pretty colours and all the fruits and that. But uh, it's not really like that when you get down to it. I don't know, I don't know. Right, people, we've been going. We've, got, we've hit that hour and 22 minutes. I'm sorry that it was so late, like two hours. I'm sorry that I've clearly been um substandard streaming it's now half one in the morning here and now i've now got to do three hours work falling asleep was a bastard but i do want to say something now and i want to and, and i'm going to be sincere and i always am I, I i hope i hope that one of the things you people have always appreciated about this channel is that I am an open book. I will tell you what I think, and, and, I, and I hope you trust me. Um, oh, and a little sidestep. Thanks for everyone who took part in the stretching stream last night, and thank you very much for, you know, that's a bit of a risk for a streamer to do something completely different, and I wasn't able to see what you were saying, obviously, because I was over there shouting. But... Um, I just wanted to say that, I, I, you know, I nearly didn't do this stream and I just thought, well, hang on a minute. These people stick their necks out for you. These people do turn up twice a day. They do say nice things. They do donate. They do engage in the chat. When I ask them to do my little, um, this little glitch I'm trying to game at the moment, they do it. And uh, and I have been substandard tonight. I just have two hours late, hung over, half asleep. And uh, you've all been very kind. You've all been very friendly, and it means a lot to me. And when and I do get a lot of emails from people saying, "I don't think you quite understand um, how much your streams give to people, and how much your people what how much people get out of your streams." And I just want to say that that. That works for me too. You know, if when I've taken when I had that concussion, I didn't stream for four weeks, I was like a fish out of water. And you know, I am I am a scrub as well. I you know, I, I may have a different role in this community, but I am part of the community for sure. And 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 you know, without me, 
there's no community. But without you, there's no community. And uh, you've all been, well, I say all, <laughs> a fair amount of you have been very kind, very understanding, and, uh, and very caring, dare I say, and very compassionate dare I say it tonight. Uh, and it's been really, really appreciated because, you know, you know when you sleep in and you shouldn't and you've got work to do, you wake up, you feel grotty. And uh, I'm not very good at that. I, I used to have a siestas all the time. I always used to have an afternoon kip. But I wake up and it's like that jet lag feeling. And I ain't got time for it anymore. And I have to say it's been really lovely finally catching up with you and uh and you lot being great and i've really appreciated it and it's going to make the next three or four hours work i've got to do a lot better because if i hadn't have streamed and i'd have just got in with the work it would have been in the back of my head that you know i let you down and i let myself down so i just wanted to acknowledge that and and, and say thank you so um massive props to all the scrubs Thank you for everyone who engages in the chat. Thanks to all the most delightfuls and the lurkers who sit in the background and are still part of it. They, they play their role. Thanks to everyone who donated. And I will see you between 8 and 8.30 UK time tomorrow morning. And hopefully I'll be able to string more than three words together at the same time that makes sense. If not, We'll see if we can get it done for the afternoon stream. Take care, people. It's been an absolute pleasure. Ta-da! Yeah! All the world loves a lover. All the girls in every land a man to know. Joy of loving is to live in the world of man. There's a someone who's waiting for you. Soon the world will be yours for a time. Music starts to play, night will turn to day. Darkness disappears when the one you love is near. You're in man All the world loves the lovers, all the girls, in every land of men to know. Joy of loving is to live in the world of man there's a place that is waiting for you, a world where the best in life is free, where time is always spring, happiness is king, dreams you dream come true, when the one you love loves you, you're in man. Enjoy the rest of your day, people. It's incredibly going to be, what, Wednesday tomorrow? Which means we're really at Weekend EVV. And I can't believe how quickly that's came about. How lovely. See you later. Ta-da. All the world loves a lover. Well, I've also got to make a cake. I'm going to make a cake so that when I go down to my girlfriend's new pad tomorrow, I can take a homemade cake down there. So that should be nice. Go on, get out. Go and obsess over that free trade.